All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this little video here, I'm gonna go over with you guys a rundown of the first aid kit that you'll see me carrying on me, you know, 90% of the time. I think it's very important that we have some sort of basic first aid kit. This one is a little more kind of in depth that I've put together. There are first aid kits out there that are available. NRS has one. There's some backcountry type first aid kits. But really, I think that as a whitewater kayaker, I think we need to be more specific on what we carry in our boat. So yeah, you guys stick around and I'll, um, I'm gonna break this first aid kit down because this is still a little part of my safety series. And you guys leave in the comments what you think, if you even carry a first aid kit, I think it's important to have at least one per group. I mean, obviously I think everybody should have one, but if there's a group of like five of us, I would hope that we have one or two first aid kits amongst the whole group. I have been out there and people have got cut, they've busted their knuckles, bad uh, bone breaks, and we've had nothing. It's great to have a basic first aid kit on you at all times. Ed, I'm gonna go ahead and break this down on what I've added to this first aid kit and why it's important that we have one. But yeah, stick around. Okay, let's get into it. Six, seven inches by three inches, so it's it's very compact. It can go down inside my dry bag pretty easy. Waterproof, this works fine. But also I have another layer of protection inside here that I'm gonna show you guys. It's basically the roll down type design. And inside the bag is another bag. So you can see right away that I have this um, inside of a freezer type bag and I'll show you what these bags are. These bags I've got at Walmart. I found them on clearance for a dollar. So I bought out the entire shelf. These are really good bags. It's a company called Mainstays. I think it's just a Walmart type brand. You can find these on sale a lot of times. When you do, I highly recommend these for paddling. They're super strong. They're very durable. You can put your cell phone in there. You can put snacks. I'll put like things like this inside of my dry bag. So I've always got some of these on me at all times. They come in a large bag. So I also have the large ones. So these are very durable. I could easily, and this, all of this floats. So I'm not worried about it anyway. So just so you know, that's the, that's the bags that I have my kit in. Moving on to the actual kit itself. So I do have it sealed in this, in this bag right here. And what we'll do, we'll break this open. So as I'm breaking this open, you guys can see what I'm pulling out here. And what I've done, I've went in and I've labeled all of my, my um, contents. So you can see that everything in here has been labeled. I'll break down each one of these by what I have. So I have like four in here. My ointments, my medicine, and my band-aids. And this is just gonna be some random things right here. But let me go ahead and break one of these opens. We'll start here with the ointments. I'll show you kind of what I carry in the bag. Number one, always have some sort of triple antibiotic, pain relief, neosporin. It's the best I can find. I have those little packets, but I also, I really like having the big tube of this. A little after bite. I, I know we get out, we do a lot of hiking, we get mosquito bites. You could get stung by fire ants, whatever. It's nice to have this just to kind of make things a little comfortable. Funny story, I actually, where it was paddling and I had left my boat outside for a while and fire ants had crawled in and made a nest inside the seat pad and I didn't know it so I'm paddling down I'm like doing the cascades or something all of a sudden my legs get on fire and what had happened was there was a fire ants nest inside my seat pad they were crawling out stinging me and it lit me up I would have liked to have some of this just to kind of make the itch go down but yeah I recommend this I recommend having some of this right here um, with you at all times this is like some um, skin protectant if you're getting, you know, some wear marks. We do, if you've been out paddling for a while in wet clothing or whatever, you will get some wet marks on, some wear marks on you. I have some of that stuff with me too. Um, some hand sanitation wipes. This is something called New Skin. This stuff right here has been pretty good for, like, if you get a gash and you don't want a Band-Aid on it, you could easily put this on there and it's more like a, um, like a skin hardener. Uh, I like that stuff too. Uh, more of these wipes alcohol prep pads it's nice to have these alcohol prep pads this is some splinter out it's a nice little needle for picking things out if you um, get like a bad splinter down inside your hand maybe you were portaging you've reached and you've grabbed a, a piece of wood or something and a big splinter went down this is always great to get those out 
and that's pretty much all of my creams. Oh yeah, I've got some Carmax, you know, um, lip balm. That's always good. You know, chap lips always suck when you're out paddling for a while. I keep uh, chapstick down inside my vest, but it's nice to have it in here too. So yeah, that's all of the the ointments and creams that I have right here. I, so I'll go ahead and put this back in and go to the next bag. Medicine. So I'm just going to do this real quick, and if you can see what that is, you guys leave in the comments right now if you know what that thing is. But let me show you kind of what I keep as medicine. And I will need, I think I need to add some more to this. This right here is something you might not need. I have some of these, so it's something that if you have one, it's great to have. This right here is an EpiPen. This is um, this is for people that have allergic reactions to bees, uh, any type of um, anaphylactic shock. Maybe I'm saying that right. I don't know. You guys, you know, guys can light me up if I'm saying that wrong. But it's good to always have an EpiPen. I might not need, I don't carry this with me all the time. Sometimes I do have, I have a smaller kit that I also just kind of keep with me. Some Tylenol, some Imodium AD, which is for diarrhea. I have learned my lesson to have some sort of Imodium AD. It is really bad to have bad diarrhea when you've got a long trip and I'm out on the river and I might have another four to five hours of kayaking and I'm sitting there with bad diarrhea. It's nice to have some Imodium AD. Aspirin, you know, aspirin's good for a heart attack. It's good for a lot of different things. Uh, there's, it's always great to have some aspirin on you. Ibuprofen, ibuprofen's always great to have with you for body aches and just normal pain aches. So, and you can see how I'll put these in individuals. I have um, some bottles of these and I just threw them in a bag. Um, a Morimodium. This is an antihistamine. You can use Benadryl. I didn't have any Benadryl, um, so this is a type of Claritin, but it is an antihistamine. And this is always good to have on you if someone needs to. Um, you know, bee stings, whatever, take one of these, you'll be fine. And that's pretty much the medicine pack right there. So I don't have a big bunch of medicine that I'm carrying with me, but make sure everything's labeled. You don't want to get pulled over and have a bunch of random unmarked pills. So I'll try to uh, label everything. Next up is the bandages. So this is Band-Aids, and what I have here, I'll go over this one real quick. I have um, some athletic tape. Athletic tape is always good to have on you. This is for rubber gloves. I was just out not too long ago, and I forgot. I'd never had rubber gloves in my pack, and there was a back. I was out hiking. We came across these two hikers, and one of them had fell, and he had sliced the whole side of his thumb up he was actually walking holding his thumb like this with blood just pouring down his hand and he's like yeah I slipped and fell reached to grab a rock they had no first aid kit well one thing I found out I had nothing so I was just handed him the stuff because I didn't want his blood all over me and then I realized I didn't have any rubber gloves in there I have about maybe six seven pairs of rubber gloves that I keep with me a syringe is great for cleaning out wounds. Get some filtered water, pull it up, and if you got a bad cut, you would just squirt that in there and then clean out any dirt or debris inside the cut. So it's always nice to have a syringe that doesn't have a uh, doesn't have a needle. It's more or less just to clean clean a wound out. Band aids. I have a lot of different band aids. This is one of the things that you need the most. This is um, any type of stretch bandages or gauze. Always have a lot of gauze, more Band-Aids. The gauze dressing is my number one thing. These are, these are Band-Aids that are more for covering wounds. These are these butterfly strips. These butterfly strips are really good for like covering big gaping wounds. You can cover it, pull it together with these, and then put a gauze patch on top of it more gauze trauma pad in there that's everything that i have as far as bandages and band-aids this is something right here that's just kind of a basic package i'm going to go ahead and show you guys and you see how well these things seal they're double sealed this is by far one of the most number one thing that a kayaker needs to carry with them a stretch bandage this is great for putting on a dislocated shoulder, wrapping this around a dislocated shoulder or a sprained ankle, say you're portaging, you sprain an ankle, it's nice to have some sort of elastic bandages to have with you at all times for a sprained ankle or a broken bone to immobilize your shoulder. This is by far, I have used this, I helped a guy out one time that had a bad shoulder injury and I just wrapped his body, I wrapped the arm up and it's nice to have something like this on you at all times. That's by by far one of the number one things I like to carry with me. Number two is some duct tape. This is a small roll of Gorilla Tape, duct tape. Always have this. This is great for, you know, a wide range of uses. So I always recommend having a little thing of duct tape on you. This right here is a 
like one of these pop like instant cold packs i'd found this i'd picked this up for like a dollar somewhere this would be great for a like a, a bad bruise or broken bones you just squeeze it you pop that you shake it up and then you could use the wrap and wrap that up on somebody that's a good thing to have on you too i'd found that out after getting bad bruises i hit my elbow really hard it'd been nice to have that and maybe stop that damn swelling on my elbow i'd wish i'd had that with me <laughs> this right here is an emergency blanket you might not need it but a buddy of mine did uh, have to spend the night on a run one time and he had no way of starting a fire even if he had had this he could have stayed what he could have stayed warm he almost went hypothermic because he was soaking wet he had to sleep in there all night and not having some sort of little this right here could basically save your life this is one that's big enough to make into a full blanket you could turn it into a shelter more like a ground tarp or some sort of covering this one right here is just the uh, the SOL which is funny what what is that shit out of luck <laughs> how do you say it this survive outdoors longer but you know what sol and i think i picked this up for a few bucks somewhere that's an easy cheap one right there here's something else i had found out it was funny we were going to leave a note one time at a guy's car and then i realized i didn't have a pen i didn't have a paper or i had a pen that didn't work and i didn't have a paper I always keep something enough where i could write a note and while i was at it i went ahead and wrapped this with 15 foot of 550 paracord so I have some extra paracord whether I need to make a tourniquet or just some sort of like shelter with this It was nice to have that and a way of leaving a note for somebody and I did have I did add an extra knife that could come in handy for cutting anything. Knives are never an issue, but you know what? I had this extra one, might as well put it in there. That right here, this little packet right here has more like kind of miscellaneous stuff. You guys leave in the comments below what you carry with you as far as a first aid pack. I'd really like to hear from you guys. I just want to keep these little safety series open. I know I can't have everything in here. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I have right here, guys. Leave in the comments below what you think of this kit. If there's something I'm missing or something you carry with you but yeah thanks a lot everybody thanks for watching and check out my other safety series i'll leave links below on my other lot like, kayak safety series and um links at the end of this video but yeah thanks a lot everybody thanks for watching and i will uh catch you guys next time